All right, it's time for In the Clinic with Dr. Malika. And doctor, there's been a nationwide surge in cases of walking pneumonia. And you saw a case with a young boy this week. That's right, just last night, actually. You know, it's called walking pneumonia. It's caused by a bacterium called mycoplasma. And it's called walking pneumonia because it tends to be mild. And mm -hmm. most patients can walk around without feeling terribly sick. Well, typical symptoms include sore throat, cough, headache, low-grade fever, sometimes diarrhea. It's spread from person to person through respiratory droplets from coughing or sneezing near others. And we used to see walking pneumonia in the fall and winter months among school-aged children, though anyone can get it. But since late spring, the number of cases, especially among young children ages 2 to 4, has been climbing. It's not completely clear why, but we may be playing catch-up with a lot of the respiratory illnesses that were kept at bay during the pandemic when we were masking and distancing ourselves from others. And young children in particular haven't been exposed to a lot of these germs before, and of course now they are. Walking pneumonia often resolves on its own, but it can be treated with antibiotics. So if you notice that your child is having persistent fever or chest discomfort or trouble breathing, you want to call your pediatrician and have them seen right away. Not a lot of fun, especially when you have that cough. Exactly. It can be really tough.